Okay, so what we're showing here is how to pass um, a parameter and a value between two pages. Um, basically what we have is we have two view objects. One is just the normal department's views, selecting all the departments. The other one is the department by param, which basically has a select star where a specific um, field equals a parameter. Right? So what we want to do is we actually want to have two pages. Um, the first page is just the list page. Here we're going to use the full list of departments and just drop it as, let's say, a table on the page. Right. We'll enable all selection and whatever other behaviors you want. So this is one view used in this page. Then the other page um, which we call the single page. On this page we actually want to show just a specific um, department. Now I already shown it in the previous blog that you can use the same view object on both and you'll get it working but I'm just trying to show a more I guess complex way of doing stuff um, or basically another way to pass parameters. So over here we're just going to take the other view and drop it as a read-only form like that. Okay, we can add navigation controls just to prove that there are no other uh, departments once we select one. And then we have the um, uh, page flow uh, and on the page flow we're basically going to have the list page um, being called first and then directing it to the single page. Now in the middle what we want to do is actually invoke um, the selection of a specific department. So what we're going to do here is go to the operation where we have the execute with params with a specific parameter for the second view. We're going to drag and drop this as a method to our page. Right. We need to specify where the value is going to come from. Let's use the expression language builder. And we actually want to take things from, um, let's say, the page flow scope. And we'll just call our parameter PID. Okay, that's just the name I chose. It can be any name. So let's copy this, by the way. We might make it easier later on. Okay, so this is where the value is coming from for the execute with params method, right? So once we execute this method, we're going to go to this page, okay, like that. And we also want to navigate from the first page to this method, right? Now let's go to the first page, list page. And what we want to do is actually, once someone actually clicks on a row, and select it, we want to do the navigation. Um, I don't want to do it in a select list scenario, I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm just going to convert um, this item, which is currently an output text item, I'm going to convert it to a link. So we're going to lose the value, so let's just remember that it's row department ID, and I want to actually have it here um, like that. Um, so we'll still see the department ID in here. And um, you can see the little arrow here, it's because there's a validator or a converter here that is no longer needed, I think. Yeah, this should be okay. Now when we click this, we want to do the navigation. So we'll just do, um, sorry, we need to define a name for the navigation. Let's call this one the select navigation. Like that. So the first page, when we click this link, we want to go and do the select navigation. Like that. Right. The other thing we want to do is we want to pass the value of this specific row. Right, so this is the value we're going to pass, the row department ID. In order to pass it, we're going to use an operation component uh, uh, which is called um, set property listener. Okay, so we're just going to use this one and drag it onto the link. Okay, 
and we're going to take it from the row dot department ID that's the value of this field we're going to place it into the page flow scope PID parameter on the action like so that's basically setting the value into a parameter that is going to be passed between the pages now we need to also use this parameter here in the method so if we actually look at um, this method and um, if you remember correctly we set the parameter for it already to use the page flow scope okay. so now we should be able to just right click and say run here so to recap what we did um, the first page has a list when we click on a button we take a value from this page and put it into a page flow scope um, PID parameter which is then passed to this method which is then um, going to execute the query finding a specific department and showing it here and um, one more thing you might be able to do is if you actually go to edit binding you can see the parameter here as well so you can set this parameter later on if you want to right, let's look at the pages and the application that we just built okay we have the departments let's choose let's say department 120 and click on it this will do the navigation and get us department 120 here Okay if we go back and invoke the page again okay, let's choose another department 70 and what we'll get in the second page is 70 so those are two different views